Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a Sims 3 video, which I haven't done in quite a long time. So I am going to be showing you all my current household and I am currently playing in Moonlight Falls, which is the town that came with Supernatural, I believe. It's based off of Twilight, kind of, like Forks, Washington, where Twilight takes place. Um, it's kind of like rainy a lot and cloudy, and there is families based off of Twilight, like um, Bella, or Belle, Bella Swain, or something like, it's supposed to be Bella Swan, stuff like that, and yeah. But I decided to play with this family, like, this is actually a pre-made family, um, so basically... I got um, Supernatural, the expansion pack. That was one of the more recent ones I've got. The only one I don't really have, I think, is University and Into the Future. But anyways, I've got Supernatural, but to be honest, I never really like liked it. Um, I never really liked playing with like Supernatural, like the cult um, characters. I don't know why I just didn't, but yeah. Anyways, so this is one of the only families in the world that's not magic-based, kind of. There's other families, but I tried playing with one family. Didn't really like them that much. Um, they kind of had a really small house, and I like to keep them in the house that they have when I when I started playing them. And it didn't make much sense because the dad was a neurosurgeon, but they lived in a very, very um, not nice house. But anyways, I found this family eventually, and the storyline with them was that they had a, originally it was a son who was a fairy, but the parents don't believe in magic. They're like, um, hold on one second, I'm trying to move so I can plug my laptop in. Okay, so the parents don't really believe in magic, but the funny thing is, is that their son is a fairy and they I don't know why they don't realize it because he has fairy wings it's very obvious to everybody else but anyways I did change their appearance a little bit using testing sheets um, I didn't like how they looked I honestly usually do that I usually play with a pre-made family and then just change their personality looks house to how I want it because they already have like relationships and a, a certain level of career which I like sometimes sometimes I don't really want to play like a starter family so, I did change their appearance. You may have recognized them if you've played in Moonlight Falls before. And I also changed their traits. Um, and I also changed their son to be a daughter, just because I, I don't know why I just wanted to. Um, but let's talk about The Sims first. Then we can do a house tour and talk about their story, kind of. So, this is, okay, sorry. This is James Hopcraft. So this is a Hopcraft family. Okay, so for him, he had glasses and stuff like that. When I took off his glasses, he honestly looked fine. Like, he, he was, he's fine looking. I changed his eyebrows. They were, like, high up. Like, he's obviously giving, um, like, businessman vibes. Um, I wanted to keep that, kind of. Um, so yeah, when I started playing, he, he, he got one promotion since I started playing, so, um, he was level 8 when I started playing in the science career. I forget what that was, but since I've been playing them, which is about 6 days, um, he did level up to level 9 in the science career, which fulfilled his aspiration, or sorry, lifetime wish. Um, so he is level 9 uh, in the science career, and he is a creature robot crossbreeder, and that was his lifetime wish. And, yeah. So anyways... I didn't realize he is a significant age gap with his wife. He's almost an elder. He has 15 days to be an elder. I honestly just want him to be in like a bit a bit earlier on the adult life stage. I don't I didn't want to change him to a young adult. I wanted to change him to like just be the beginning of an adult. But I couldn't figure out how to do that. So if any of you all know how to do that, like change the life state, but not to a different life state, to like the beginning of one. Please let me know because, like, I just don't think it's realistic that he's so much older than his wife. His wife is a bit less than halfway to being an adult, and he's almost an elder. So, I don't know. It's just weird to me. I don't get that vibe from them. I don't get the, um, 
older man, younger wife vibe. So I think I want to change that. But anyways, as I said, he is 15 days from aging up to an adult. His favorites are electronic and music, waffles, and the color red. And he is a Taurus. And I changed his traits. Originally, he had like the traits of being, he was like a coward. He was like, can't stand art. And some other like negative traits like that. But she was honestly more negative than him. But he had some negative traits. Um, he, he came with a neat trait, so I kept that. Um, he came with Supernatural Skeptic. I kept that. Um, and I think Perfectionist, maybe. But I added Family Orientated and Ambitious. Um, I couldn't get them when they first started off to even, like, want to kiss each other for some reason, even though their relationship was full, which I cheated. But anyways, <laughs> I always like to cheat all the relationships of families to be full, unless I'm specifically playing a family that has a bad dynamic. Just because it makes things easier. Like, I wanted to have the wife um, become pregnant again, and they wouldn't even kiss each other. So I had to make him family orientated to give me the option um, to try for baby. Because if you're seen as family oriented, um, you can try for baby. Like, it just the option comes up faster under like special. Um, I can show you all later. But, anyways. Um, so, yeah, family oriented, neat, perfectionist, supernatural skeptic, and ambitious. And his family tree, his scrapbook, okay. Um, if you want to see his scrapbook, this was their first kiss. Their first boohoo, I guess. He picked up the daughter, I don't know what this is. They went to the park, whatever. Oh, he got pizza. <laughs> and, I don't know, this is just their house when he was late for work one day. Um, yeah, we'll talk about this later. I don't know. She only cheated on him once, okay? <laughs> um, so anyways, a man of science. James does not agree with the supernatural. Okay, so that makes sense. He doesn't like supernatural because he's, like, really into science, which kind of makes sense. All this magic and mystical nonsense is just not healthy. He once tried to cast a magic spell as a child, and his mom gave him a stern talking to and sent him right to law school. So maybe he does have some magic in him, and that's why he cast the spell, but he's kind of being told to like um, not think about it or not practice his magic. And maybe that's why his daughter um, is a fairy. Maybe he was part fairy or something like that. Anyways, it was the best thing that ever happened to James when he was only eight. Even though he gave up law after passing the bar at age 12, so he's very successful. James was always grateful for the discipline and structure that his school provided. Now he just hopes to bring that structure to everyone else's lives. Okay. So, yes. He has good relationships because I cheated them all. Um, um, they all started out with, a, like, really good relationships with everybody in the town. I don't know why he has bad ones now for some reason, but they all started with really good ones. I don't know why that happened. Um, I told you about his career. He ha he really needs to work on his gardening, hand penis, and fishing. He has level 7 logic, level 3 fishing, level 6 gardening, and level 5 handiness. And that is him. And then we have Miranda, his wife. She had blonde hair. I just changed her hair. I don't know why. I just like this hair for her. It just, it just fits her. Okay, let's have her, like, not be naked. Okay. Whip that job! Okay. So, honestly, what is she doing? Okay. So this is his wife, Miranda. I think she had a different name, and it was, like, Miriam or something, but I wanted to just give her, like, a name I like better, to be honest. <laughs> um, so, anyways, I also changed her outfits a little bit. I changed her outfit to make her look like she's, like, a local representative, and I wanted her to look like that, but just the other one was just way too stereotypical for me, and I just could It was, like, over the top. This, I think, is nice. She has, like, the loafers, and she's more conservative, but it's not too over the top where it's, like, gimmicky, I guess you could say. And I gave her glasses. I just like that for her. Um, she's kind of more like, I, I see her as a bit more uptight. She's very classic. She's very conservative. But she's very, very good mother and stuff like that. Um, her lifetime wishes to be the leader of the free world. She is, as I said, halfway to being an adult. She is an Aries. Um, yeah, she likes kids' music, cookies, and the color black. Um, 
So I gave her some traits because I wanted to have it easier for them to like kiss and have a baby, whatever. So I gave her flirty and dramatic. I just, I don't know. I gave her dramatic. I thought that fit her well. She's good. She's a supernatural skeptic, which she came with, and a light sleeper, which she came with as well. Um, she did cheat on him. It was a moment of weakness because she was home all the time, um, pregnant with all these kids, and he was at work, and she's very flirty. So she just started flirting with this other girl who was also flirty, who was her friend, and they just kissed. I don't know. It was a moment of weakness for her, but she really wishes that she didn't do it. She regrets it, like, all the time. And he did find out, to be honest, but I cheated the relationship back up because I didn't want them to, like, get divorced or have any fights or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, they're fine now. Like, I don't know. Whatever. Like, she just, she was mainly just, like, flirting with her friend. I don't know. I don't, whatever. It is kind of serious, but I'm just going to pretend it didn't happen because I don't want them to get divorced. And her daughter did see, which is kind of scarring. She was a toddler at the time, but... I'm just going to pretend it didn't happen, to be honest. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so, let's look at her. Memories. Memories. If you guys care about this, I don't know. She had a campaign fundraiser. They all got stuck at the top of the stairs. Their house is three floors. and there's like a really narrow area. And everyone wanted to go upstairs because there was a radio up there. And, um, yeah. They all got stuck trying to start bleeding people. Yeah. Nothing very interesting. So yeah, Miriam was her original name. So Miranda hails from a small town of 15 Sims where everyone knew each other's names and everything about their personal life. To her, Moonlight Falls is a bustling city and it's easy for her to feel lost in the crowd. Miranda expects everything to be in its place, is resistant to change, and certainly cannot understand the life of Supernatural. She knew something was up the moment she moved to Moonlight Falls and hopes that by running for office she can shed some truth on the town. She will lead by example her family a shining beacon of normality, nor of normalcy, in the murky skies above Moonlight Falls. Everything will turn out perfectly. So it's kind of ominous about her finding out her daughter is a fairy. I don't know if she even knows it yet or she even cares. Who knows? Um, yeah, her relationships, like, they're pretty good. I don't know, oops, I don't know why James's relationships are, like, gone, but they all, they all are supposed to have this relationship with everybody in the town. Um, yeah, this is the girl that she, like, flirted with or whatever. Anyways, uh, so she's a local representative. She's politics level six career. I want her to get a promotion, but she keeps having, having babies, and I think she's pregnant again. I just want her to have one more girl, honestly, after the last kid. I was thinking I'll wait till the next weekend when she's not working for her to get pregnant so she can actually go into work and I'll get a promotion because she's due for a promotion soon. But I caved and had her get pregnant and I want her to eat a watermelon so she's a girl. Yeah, and after that, she's going to focus on her career. Um, she's level 6 logic, level 5 charisma, level 3 cooking. Okay, that's her. Alita is her daughter, who used to be the son. I also changed it to a girl and just changed um, the hair color to being red. Her hair does not, her hair, her hair is like this. I don't know what she's doing. Um, Let's go, she go. Okay, she's not going to change, but anyways. This, this is her, like, fairy wings. You can see how she looks down here. Um, yeah, so she is a fairy. She just turned into a child, like, today, I think, or yesterday, I forget. She's clumsy, excitable, and artistic. She loves to color aqua, cookies, electronic music. She is a Capricorn. Um, so, yeah, her, her name, or used to be a boy, was Alfred. So, Alita is a very charismatic and well-behaved little girl whom Miranda and James believe is the envy of all the other parents on the block. She was much like the other toddlers until she had a fateful encounter with the elder fairy Flora Goodfellow. Okay, so she's not fairy by blood. She's a fairy by a spell. So Flora Goodfellow was practicing some spells and intended to cast a spell on herself, but it backfired and turned to Alita, who happened to be nearby, into a fairy. Too afraid to say anything, Flora kept it to herself, but secretly watches from afar to see how the hopcrafts will take to their daughter's wings, glistening wings once she grows up. So, yes. That is Alita. She has good relationships with her parents and stuff like that. She hates this girl because she saw 
her mom flirt with her and stuff like that. She hasn't gone to school yet since she became a toddler. Okay, then we have Keegan, who also just aged up. Keegan is their son. Um, he is a Virgo. He likes hip-hop. Alu Masala Curry. Color Lime. He's a loner, and he's perceptive. And he has no bio, because um, he was born, um, like, he wasn't the pre-made. So, yeah, that's him. And then we have Blake. Blake is a Capricorn. Um, he was just born today as well. We had two birthdays and a birth. Um, so Blake likes dark wave. I don't know why he has two faces, but whatever. He likes chili con carne, and he likes lime as well. They both like lime for some reason. I don't know what that's about. Nobody else likes lime. Anyways, Blake is brave and loves the heat. I kind of see him being a firefighter, because, like, that just goes perfectly well. Um, I kind of see, like, Keegan doing something in the science career, like his dad. He's a loner and perceptive. I just see that kind of working for him. Alita... I think she's maybe like an artist or like a painter or something. But anyways, okay, so let's look at the house. This is a house on the outside. It's really nice. Um, but it's a full moon, so everything looks kind of more bluish than it normally does. So you come in. It's kind of messy. I, I need to like do some better decorating. So this is like that formal um, living room with a fireplace, a couch. The couch is custom content, so is the... Um, Rug, I need to get more custom content, but I honestly have no room on my laptop because I am playing on my laptop, and it's a MacBook, so obviously I don't have that much room for gaming or anything like that. But I do love this um, this custom content. And then we have, like, a, a toy chest for the kids, stuff like that. Over here we have the dining room. This is also a custom content um, table and some chairs, some more toys for the kids. Oh, our dog. We have a dog. I don't really care about the dog. We don't really... I can't pay too much attention to her. Um, she's halfway to being an elder. She likes swimming. She's skittish and she's loyal. She, she doesn't really do much, really. <laughs> um, yeah. So, anyways, and we have the like more rec room area with some couches again, custom content, custom content, coffee table, a TV. Um, we have a what's this called? High chair for the kids. Some dog toys for Chloe. Um, the kid. This is a kitchen, which I really like actually. Um. And we have a little table so they can eat there if they want to. Um, a barbecue in the backyard. The backyard's pretty plain. I want to add some stuff to it. We have a picnic table and this, which I love. This is from Generations. It's a sand um, sand pit. I forget what they're called. There's a name for them, but I can't remember. Our car is in here. I don't know why we have a truck. We're not really a truck family, but we have one. Whatever. We need to get a different car. Um, so come up the stairs over here. We have a hallway. And this is kind of messy because, they, like, a bunch – two kids just aged up and we had a new kid, so I quickly kind of redecorated it for them. But this is the parents' room over here. Again, custom content bed and, I think, dresser. I love the vanities in this game. And Sims 3 is really fun, honestly, like, for decorating and just – I don't know. I like the Sims 3 a lot. This is their ensuite. They have a nice bath. The bath is custom content and stuff like that. Um, over here, this is kind of just, like – um. James's office. He has like a computer, um, a bookcase. Um, Chloe's bed is here now. Like we just put this here. We used to be on the third floor, but then we have um, this is now um, Blake's room. This used to be Alita's room, but it's now Blake's room. A uh, kind of basic because we haven't decorated it yet. Alita's doll is still here. And yes, there's an ensuite onto that bath, that um, bedroom as well. And then we have um, Keegan's room, um, or like I don't, know, just the boys. Can, they just switch all the time, so whatever. And yeah, there's a a crib and just some basic stuff, some rocking chairs out here. I love this like little um, patio thing, Juliet balcony. And if you go upstairs, this was like a rec area with like um a pool table, but now it's going to be Alita's bedroom since she aged up. Alita used to sleep in here, as I said, and um, Keegan was in here, but now Alita's upstairs. I thought she'd like that. She's kind of different, and it's more like growing up to have your own floor. She has an ensuite as well, and this is her bedroom, and that's basically it. Um, I am trying to get um, Miranda pregnant again. If she gets pregnant again, I'm, I've been thinking of putting the boys in the same room, and putting the new baby here. Um, we can also convert this into two different bedrooms, but I don't really want to do that right now because 
they actually spend a lot of time up here for some reason. Like, everyone hangs out in this room. But anyways, that is my family. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you want to see some more Sim 3 content. I like making it. Um, I do need to finish my um, series. Oh, my gosh. I can't think of the name of that world that I was doing the series on. Appaloosa Plains. I need to finish my Appaloosa Plains series, and I promise I will finish it some point in time, hopefully. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll keep you updated on this family and what's happened to them in the future. And I will see you all next time. Bye, everyone.